Hello friends, my name is Jita from class 7th and I am studying in Euroschool Aeroli. This is my project for Google Sheets Advance and the topic was expense management. So it, what you need to do, read it, then required features. So this is my project introduction. So sheet 1, I, this is introduction, sheet 2, to do list and sheet 3 annual day budget and this is my school logo and my school name euro school is my school name and this is the logo learn explore discover yourself in to do list we have project performance status class number of participants owners participants so you can see like this way and as you can see both are used i have used mod cell by doing like this way and merge and this color I've uh, taken from fill color and this name I've uh, used as footer and this is like header because they had asked for add your name and your subject in footer so I've done like that way add your school logo school name and date in the header so I've done like this and in footer I've done this and what are the expenses used for uh, purchase by school bill numbers serial number hired paid to bill number amount and these are the things this is filter which example if I I don't want these two and I'll do OK. Then you can see those two are removed. And again, if I want all, select all. OK, see, now everything came back. Now, um, even sorting. So from here, if we sort, it will happen like this way. And it will now be normal. And other another way is by sorting like this way. We cannot sort like that way. It will be, uh, there is some problem in that and this is and uh, now I'll tell how did I add this chart by going in um, I went to insert and then charts and as you can see now it is shown like this way I don't want now because I have taken one but for showing more things I will need it like this way and if I don't want this customize we can do it like this way also these are the things we can do and from this we can change it to anything like if I want to keep in this or this anything I can keep it and delete chart then add a list of expenses category which will make it uh, the data entry more easy so let's I'll show you how will it make it more easy sheet 5 annual day budget let's do your equal to sign and this when we go here and press enter now you can only see this but after doing these all you can see those and you can see these so it's easy now and next they have told at uh, our data validation so the data validation i've taken from here if i do it zero then if enter C it will not happen because I've used data validation from here and as you can see this and this thing which I can change it I've uh, this also I've taken from data validation as you can see list item and like this way it will show warning and then this which was there in this it would show reject item so it was showing like that way and filter the result so I have shown you filter also and this is also done these also I have shown this also 
formatting so formatting is basically like uh, the thing which we do bold italic and font uh, what font we want to keep the fill color those are the things uh, more cell as i showed you by doing like this way if we do it and then this is there we click it it will be more cell and then calculating basic formulas as i sh as i showed equal to sign let's take this plus this enter as you can see the answer like this way it will come it is it is basic formula and then uh, i've showed you data validation now conditional formatting so as you can see these this will happen in conditional formatting in format con uh, let me take this format conditional formatting you can as you can see this wait one second these all i've done in conditional formatting 30000 if i'll do this 20000 as you can see now done see three are there now again i want to keep in 20 uh, 30000 so it's simple next sorting so i showed you sorting also by doing like this way also and by doing in data also next filtering i showed you filtering charts and i have showed you charts even so i finished everything thank you friends for watching this video hope you like